Hi everyone! I'm going to do a flip and drag on this canvas and I see my gloves. I decided that because my glove, because I'm trying to reuse whatever I can, so because my glove was green, I'm going with my green leftovers from previous pours. And yeah, so sorry, a little bit of sidetrack there. Da -da -da. A flip and drag. Now this is the little plastic shot glass that I found just in the the plastics area, like uh, pa uh, plastic plates, knives and forks, cups, in my local supermarket. And this is a 20 mil cup. So I have my white mixed up, ready for my background. So there is no silicon in this one. And at the moment, my pouring medium is PVA, flow, uh, easy flow, pouring medium, and water. So, and so far, I've used it in my last couple of paintings. I'm liking how it's coming out and how they're drying so i'll continue to see how this goes for a little while all right so let's get to it today is brought to you by the letter t t for tracy who's going to get creative tonight also by the number three not sure why, but three is a great number because it's round and pointy. It's like another point and it's round and round. Who knows? And brought to you by the color green. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Sometimes you just, the weirdest things come out. So I'm going to do a flip. Done. Yeah. And there we go. And some white around. There is silicon in those paints because it is just leftovers from previous pours that I pour into a cup that's on the side and I keep a lid on it. And it's pretty much just a, a wild mix of colors, whatever's a recent mix. There we go. All right, so just spread the white out. Down, nice. A little bit more. Almost there. Okay, the rest of it I will assist. It's nice because because I've laid down this greaseproof paper, whatever has already fallen onto it is clean because there's no other drip offs as yet. So I can just scoop it up and plop it on and get busy. Right. 
Gosh. Looking fabulous. Can you see the snow? It's beautiful, isn't it? Right, sorry if there's a lot of background noise. We've had a lot of rain again and we've got clothes in the dryer and all that kind of stuff. So if that is too loud, I'll end up doing a voiceover and you won't know the difference anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to release it a little. Release that bit a lot. Whoa, way too much. That's no, okay. Where did I want to add that? There we go, some there. There it is. Just, I just thought. Just filling in some of the flat spots. Oops. These gloves didn't aim too directly. Where the the slip cut pushes away the white. And just add a little bit back in there. Wow. Okay, I see another spot just up here. But I'm going to leave that and see because I think the moving it around a little will will uh, help with that. Help with that one. I think I actually would like to just take some of this color off the top. It just seemed an awful lot there. Right. Let's see. Oh my lord. Look at. There is a huge empty bit right here. And that may just be enough to fill it in. Yep, looks much better. So with the flip and drag, I actually used too much paint this time and just dropped some more white into it. So you don't actually need a lot of paint. Very little actually, coloured paint I should say. Just try and make sure that there's no more divots. Oh, yep, there's one. I'm going to take that right off the edge now. And I believe that divot has closed in. So just gently rocking it back and forth, giving it a tilt. Doesn't cause too much of this uh, overstretched appearance in just one direction. So I'm pretty happy with where it's sitting at the moment. Just see yeah I think I'd like to leave it there guys I do see a bubble and I was not prepared for a bubble so I've got my light set up and I've got my torch let's see
Nice pinhole bubbles popping away. That's great. Some cells popping up in the green. Gorgeous. I can see some blue. I can see some yellow ochre. Uh, what else can I see? There's a touch of purple in some parts. Yeah, but mostly just like a combination of greens like a limeish green, the darker viridian perhaps. Yeah, beautiful. Some of these cells here are gorgeous. All right, so I do see a tiny little something. There it is. I need to get some tweezers. That would help. And then just put some white on that section because I scratched it up a little. touch anything now because I don't have gloves on. <laughs> well, I have one. Alright. Alright. Trying so hard to keep clean hands. Alrighty. So, here we have a flip and drag. I actually found this one is much busier than ones I've done previously. I have, let me just see. So this is one that I've done previously. And it is beautiful. There's a lot more white space than in this one. But at the same time, I really, really am happy with this one. And it's just, I think there's a bit of a fish there. <laughs> it's funny, the, the, the different things that we see in our painting. Right. All righty, guys. I'm going to bring the camera down and give you a closer look. All right. So, here we are. Gorgeous colours. The many, many different greens. The blue popping through. The meridian. Big, big cells. Coming down to much smaller ones. Try and focus on that one. There we go. See, but they're amazing. That's a great shot there. Yeah. All right, guys. There we go. Brought to you by the letter T. The number three. And the colour green. <laughs> Alright, have a great night, morning, day or evening. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.